So my college transcript is finally here, and let's see what I got. All right, so it's that time. Our college grades are in. Actually, they've been in for a lot of people for the longest time. And I have taken the longest time to make this video, but I have a correct reason why. My professor for my CS class took the longest time to change my grade on my transcript. Now, I haven't seen my final transcript, but I was notified that my grade was not a letter grade on my transcript. And then it was an NG, which means no grade reported. And what was happening was my professor had not reported my grade yet for the class. So I was waiting for the longest time. I was emailing him back and forth. And finally, he submitted the grade and we will see what I got and we will react to my final transcript. Due to COVID-19, my university, University of Maryland College Park, what it had done was that it had allowed students to pick whether they wanted the letter grade for the class or pass and fail. And what many students did was, if you weren't getting that A plus or A, which equates to a 4.0, anything below an A, so like an A minus, B plus, B, is like a 3.7 and below. If you weren't getting that A or A plus, what most students did was they just said, all right, I'm gonna take the pass. Cause the pass is an automatic uh, 4 -oh. like, oh, say less. If you have all passes, that's an automatic 4 -oh, guys. It's like cheating the system in a way, but it was kind of smart. So the classes that I wasn't, you know, almost about to get an A in, I did select pass for those classes. So I'm pretty sure I got a 4 0 -oh, but you know, we'll see. This, right, okay, so this right here is my first semester college grades. So I, you see I got A plus in 132, A plus in COM, A plus in EIP, A in uh, my honor seminar, and A in linear algebra. I made a reaction to my first semester grades already, so check that out too. And now let's go down, let's see what I got for my second semester. I have not looked at this yet, so this is the first time seeing all my grades into like the transcript. So hopefully I got what I wanted, which is a 4 -0. As expected. Now. Like I said, I'm not that surprised. I already had a pretty good idea what I was going to get. 216, this was a class I had an NG for for like 5,000 years. But finally, my uh, professor did change it to A+. So, as you can see right here, I got an A+, in my 216 class. 250, which was my other CS class, I was actually going to get a B+. So, I just said, I'll just take the pass. I uh, guess, you know, preserve the GPA for now. EIP, which was my entrepreneurship class, the second level, I took a pass in that too. Now, this is kind of sad. This is one of the easiest classes that exist in the university. And what happened was that it was so easy, in fact, I was at like a 98 that after COVID hit, I just stopped doing work. I stopped attending lectures. I stopped attending discussions. And steadily my grade dipped down, dipped down, dipped down to like an 88 to finish off. And then I didn't realize that until it was too late. And the TAs even reached out to me saying, hey, you should you know, really do this assignment. It'll help your grade a bit. You're so close to that A. And then I didn't read that text until like July. So I had already taken the pass before hand and yeah, so that's why I got a pass in one of the easiest classes of UMD. Uh, I got an A plus in my psychology class, psychology of happiness, like, come on. And then I got a P for statistics 400. Now staff 400, it was not a hard class. Professor was kind of iffy, especially when COVID hit, uh, not very vocal, not very communicative. But, you know, I could have done more. I could have got the A+. Plus, but I think I got like a B plus in this class as well. So I just took the pass. And my q GPA, as you can see right here, is a 4.0. You know, it's pretty good. Uh, q credits, 62 credits. So I'm actually a junior right now in college, even though technically I'm a sophomore. So that's pretty cool, right? And now I'm sure you guys are probably like, yo, Ritesh, you didn't really get a 4.0. You know that, right? Like, you actually got like a 3.6. Like, well... You're right, but at the same time, you know, due to COVID-19, I did take the advantage and, you know, take pass in the classes I wasn't going to get an A in. And there's been a lot of criticism in general with the pass-fail system or taking a letter grade because a lot of people say employers don't like to see that pass-fail. They like to see the actual letter grade you got. But at the same time, this is unprecedented time, guys. Like COVID-19, no one was prepared for this. So a lot of people did suffer and the instruction was not the same as it was in person as it was online. In person, the instruction was way, way better. And you could actually understand slash retain information much easier and there was way less distractions. Like you were focused, honed in on schooling. And you know, to me, when I got home, it was like distraction. Like I didn't study as much as I should have. I didn't focus as much as I should have. And as a result, some of my grades did slip. But thanks to the pass, I was not even worried about them, so I just took the pass in those classes. And the class I was going to get an A plus in, like my CS216 class was, in my opinion, my most important class. 
I got an A plus in that. And psychology happiness, like, come on. It's, you better just be happy, you get an A plus. But that's my college transcript. My freshman year college transcript, like, it's pretty good. I think, you know, I started off freshman year strong. I know the, keeping a 4.0 as a CS major at a top 10 CS university is nearly impossible. Like, I'm sure my sophomore year or my junior year, I will most likely get a B plus in one of these classes and not have a 4.0. And I'm not even worried about that. Like, I already know having graduated to 4.0 is, like, impossible. But it's good to start off strong as a freshman. So I'm glad you guys saw my college transcript and reacted with me. Thank you guys for watching. I know this video is heavily requested, so I finally pushed it out. Niraj Namburi said, when you have zero dislikes, you know he's doing something right. If you guys dislike my video, I will come to your house personally and make you like the video, okay? Arvind Manohar says, what are you, Thanos, Mr. RV? On that note. <laughs>